Okay. And this three. Right, okay. We're conveniently segregated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. In America, we call that OG. OGs. OGs. Well, OGs. Original gangsters. Yeah, these are OGs from a different GP, or if you know what I mean. Guys. Or GM. We're know. the older guys. Whichever. <laughs> yeah, the older dudes. By a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Do you Can mind? you hand us that Do bottle of bourbon over there? there? It's right there. I guess. You're getting deep on us. Well, essentially, like, well, this just, th these these two but precious you know, gems right here. But the, there's a channel like two and one. Have you heard those? Yes. Oh, okay. That's she's saying she's the, saying the, she's the, saying the dynamics of China White Three yeah. show through more in sense. heavy fruit. Yeah. I understand we're, what she's we're saying. We're from yeah. the South. The South is very prevalent in blues, and that's finally coming through in the music. And that's pretty much all. yeah. These two boys right here grew up together the same way we grew up together. They listen to the same shit. They've been doing the same thing together, playing music. They're brothers from another mother. And we all are kind of the same thing. I mean, like, I, I feel like I know these two cats as long as I've known these two cats. Yeah. It but, just, think, but what you're asking, I think, is that... I think it's just being more mature. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Is that... A, the sound is more mature? Yeah. Well, you there's sense. some kind of magic in there. Uh, the, yeah. yeah. The magic is because this fellow right here is schooled in jazz and brought an element to our band that is, is somewhat... You want me to hold that? Yeah, it's, it's so, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. it probably wasn't there. It's cool. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, Sam is, Sam has an element of musicality that we needed, and it, it showed in the way we were lackadaisical or whatever, like, on It Hates You, <clears throat> but China White 3 was, it's a, it's a kind of a bluesy rock song. We yeah. all grew up listening to bluesy southern rock, and it's like what, you know, songs I, like Miserable Company are going to, we're just gonna sound like that because we grew up on the blues, you know. Like I think too, <clears throat> like um, I guess our first two records on a lot of the bands in our genre, heaviness is cool, being heavy, being hard, all that stuff. Um, but I think you know, as you grow older, um, I think the thing that you might be talking about is pain, and I think th that's one thing that's missing in a lot of heavy, scary music is actual true pain. And I think that's some, when I'm listening to the blues, it's like, that's the heaviest shit I've ever fucking heard compared to somebody like, you know, doing a, just what's like naturally that heavy. Moan, that yeah, yeah, just something that's real. Other. And I think if it's, that's what's lacking in <clears throat> a lot of music, just everything, every art form nowadays. And it's totally fine because technology is an awesome, brilliant thing. But having said that, I think a lot of music today gets neutered. And so when you hear something that sounds like the because the, the subtext there is fucking hate and pain and it's just but you, but then the music cures that so that's that's what art is awesome yeah. for. And you asked like how it happened with with two new members, but what, I feel like it's it's just met there. You know, like we're we we're a band. They did, we we didn't form a new band. Like we all get each other really well, and we and and it shows kind of in our music. So these two these two dudes are the only dudes we would ever consider to be a part of Be His Legend because it's like you know we've we've had other dudes in the band and we've you know this is it, we're He His Legend. Yeah, you know, we gel. Him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gel. We gel. Well, well, I remember the first rehearsal that we had with Denny that where we where we were both singing and. I mean, I've never had anyone harmonize with me before, and it's been, you know, 10 years of performances. And uh, it, it just felt like it, it... It just felt right. Yeah, it, it felt right. Felt... It felt right. I mean, it was, a, it was a lock, you know? It's like, you know, when things, you know, things kind of match up the right way. And naturally, too. They yeah, I mean, we, didn't, we hadn't rehearsed it. Out. We just, like sang we were rehearsing for a show and it, the, the songs just sound like even if it wasn't recorded that way when we would do something kind of ad-libbed it was still it's still just it was awesome mm -hmm. well you got to imagine like these two guys how many bands have you actually been in together like how many times have y'all actually been able to jam out and like being rock musicians with what you've done two or three bands two or three bands but it's, i mean we but so they're lock, they're on lock, Since they're on lock, and, and then we had have done it for a year before that on lock. But then, but the I guess the new album 
he he came yeah. in just later. It was just these four. And I, yeah. yeah, I came in after that one. Yeah, but I mean, it was a rehearsal. But it was nobody was there. It was just the five together, of us, in you know, rehearsing songs Denny. for a show. So, when you had that um, vocal and emotional lock, how did you how did you both feel? Individually, I want to know how you both. I felt, felt relieved. Yeah, oh. relieved. I, I I think we were both oh. sweaty and <laughs> like. Well, for me, it was kind of you know it's kind of stressful because I had a I had a good job in the music industry and this opportunity came. Um, it's kind of a big risk. So I, yeah, after that night, I just relieved. So yeah, this is this is going to work very very well. It's so hot. Yeah. But yeah, ever since then. Good things have been happening pretty much ever ever since that point. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good, yeah. good vibes. Lives. I think another thing too, though, because <clears throat> you were talking about what was it like that very first time, and I know, I kind of think I know what you're asking, but <laughs> the first time we were jamming, it's like rehearsal, yes. like we're learning our songs, teaching our songs. Yes. But I think, which no one could ever see or know, but when we're in the room and we're just fucking around jamming. That's real magic. That's real, yeah. like, that's when you're, that's the question you're asking, like, what was it like? What was it like? Because learning a song, anybody can do that. But when five humans are vibing together on the same fucking track, that's a completely different fucking thing. And obviously that comes out, and well, I think in the live show, you can tell bands that it's not like they're looking at each other. They're just, they're on the same fucking le- if there was nobody in the cr- crowd or like a million people, they're just on that same fucking road, on, on with that same goal and you, mindset. Did you seriously get that in your first rehearsal? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we I still do. Was well, that amazing? <coughs> don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's why this is where it is. Right? That's, that's right. why. That's why we're yeah, across yeah. the pond. Yeah, that's right. why we're in yeah. Europe. Yeah. That's why we're all doing this. This would have never it, happened it if <laughs> these two individuals wouldn't have yeah. stepped in and became the slime that we are. I mean, we're, you know... If the first we rehearsal, the rehearsal for yeah. anything, like when we got Sam as a new drummer, bl- same way as getting blob. Denny as a new guitar player, when me and Adam were trying out Sam to be the drummer, within, you know, 30 seconds of playing an old song, you know... Like, if it's going to end up working out or if it's not going to pan out, you know immediately that it's going to be good. And adding Denny to the band, the same thing. We, we learn the songs, and that's just a time-consuming process, teaching all the parts, making sure you're playing it right, and then introduce full band, and you actually play the song together. The first time you play it together, the first time they sing together, it's like, all right, this... That worked, and that that feels right. This is exactly the way it needs to be. We've also never, and this is what Heavy kind metal. of was already saying. As a band, we've never all five. This is before speaking of everyone before then. But we've never all five naturally hung out as a group just outside of practice and music and just hanging out at our local bar. We do that shit all the goddamn time. We're always this yeah. close. Yeah, we, well, we rehearse and then we literally <laughs> yeah. go to the pub and this close. hang out. <laughs> we sit this close very often on airplanes. <laughs> <Awful>. <laughs> yeah. Can, yeah. I, can we um, like to talk move about along. the jazz thing? Are you the only guy who's got the, the jazz thing? Oh, no, 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 no. I was, I was in jazz band in, in high school. <laughs> Sam's, Sam's black. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's black. You can't tell. I don't know No, I, I followed him down to Wilmington to go to college. That's we went to school, for, music. for music. Yeah. That's the only way I could go to college. I, mean, I couldn't do it. You might want to sit for that, one, man. That's delicious. The, the he is legends sound. The type of evolution that you've got in the songs, your earlier songs as well as the the more current ones, they really lend themselves to the type of narrative story that you get from a jazz structure. What is that narrative story? Kind of just like you mean a, you going mean different places, or, uh, yeah. or as like going different places within the they, whole thing. Well, like typically they become so involved, don't they? A piece becomes involved mm-hmm. and it builds, and then as it builds, you just every time it gets more involved, you just. I feel like it's more. Well, that's a <laughs> classical <laughs> music thing too. You know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think I feel that's, it's, that's where it takes it. It's writes more in a classical context. A lot of a lot of it's more through composed, which just means there's never it's not just like a verse chorus 
verse, bridge, back to the chorus. I mean, Adam writes in a way where it's it's very classical, where it's like there's it, it goes it goes to many places. There's, and there's a lot of there's foreshadowing. Or sometimes and sometimes it seems like it's ADD or you know whatever ADHD. It's whatever. theatrical. I mean, like you know, yeah. it's how you have to go. Like it's cartoon. If you, if you miss the overture of like of an or of like a play, if you miss the overture, then you don't recognize the. You know the songs when they come back through and the reprise and you know, or anything else. You know, you we we've always kind of. It's I feel art. like that's that's what foreshadowing we're is a lost yeah. art. Foreshadowing. A lot of times we'll have bass parts that Adam has written in verses that we play really loud and heavy at the end of the song that you kind of unless you're really paying attention you don't exactly know that that's going on. But I think your brain, since you've heard that in the verse, like it kind of makes when we all come together on that kind of thing even more magical. Just to add to that, just to add to that, I, cause I, I was down in Florida for a little bit and I was playing with um, a lot of jazz groups. I played with this guy named Chuck Owen who, who's actually nominated for a Grammy. It's very like Maria Schneider oh, type okay. of, it's yeah. like very off the wall, mm-hmm. big band stuff where it's just, it's, it's really, it's, it's brilliant, but it's just it's Is that very. That girl that just recorded with Bowie. You said? Yeah, yeah, but like Chuck Owen, he was he was um, a great writer. But where I was down there playing and studying with some people, like it was a very composition heavy school, and there's a lot of great writers. But I mean, and I've said this to many people. I've never like I I feel like I've never hung out with someone that has that mind that can just do something original and. That that that's not just cliche. Yeah, it's a it's a vision. It's like a real. It's cool, vision. and not to get like too yeah. deep. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we are rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, we're fucking yeah. rock. It's gonna have a lot of humility and it's, humor and all. But it's of it. but, oh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's easy it, to it's, write it, a song. It's hard to write a you know a song that someone's gonna want to listen to a bunch. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is that. Uh, that's what I needed. No. <laughs> it is deep, though. You know your music's deep. Don't yeah. you? but no, but, but that's, it's not. It's not. It, that's life is. Deep. That's a, that's. Yeah. A, it is. I think that's yeah. a byproduct of just the way that we work. And I don't think it's a conscious draws. effort to be yeah. deep. Yeah, yeah, it's only as <laughs> deep as like as as yeah. that. Yeah. You're right, man. I mean, Peace so and love. Get man. your degrees. Peace, peace, and love. peace and love. It's all peace and love. Peace and love. It's all peace and love. Right. I think. Is your guy telling me to wrap it up? No, no. No, no. He was, he, he was just jumping around with his dick out. Yeah. If you want to be honest. <laughs> it's cool. Y'all couldn't see that, but yeah. it was a penis flopping. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> we're still on. We're, we're still on. We're we still didn't break character. We're good. Thousand dollars a second, guys. Film. Film. Thousand dollars a second. Still rolling. Still rolling. Still rolling. Still rolling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his dick was going up and down. You yeah, it was like he was jumping. You'll, and it was just, you'll be able to this, this like man can attest. This here. man can attest. Well, he saw the back view. Just so he knows what happened. Might be able to see it in the mirror. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you not see it, yeah. oh, you're definitely gonna you're see it in the mirror. On that just camera. watch our faces when you. You're definitely gonna see yeah. it yeah. bouncing be able around in the mirror. What's going on? Well, anyway, just can that be the interview? Talking about how deep our music is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's unconsciously deep. I don't. I don't think we ever like. Sit down and like, how do how do we make this deep? You know, it's like <laughs> that's talking about how deeper music is. It's yeah. kind of like yeah. someone pulling down their pants yeah, yeah. and jumping around. Yeah, it's yeah. really. It's yeah. Just, I think that's because just it, naturally from playing together for so long. Just the way that he writes music, I think that's just an inherent trait that he was born with, and it, it just always goes there. Yeah. And he, he, the way he writes is he adds a lot of layers. It's not just one guitar riff. It's one guitar riff with like. 20 ideas underneath that that just kind of builds it into this thing that there's a weird awkward and beautiful tension to it that that's just what comes out when we all lay it reminds me of classical music and yeah. what I like about and that's he, exactly what classical music is movie. I write the script yep. Matt jumps around with his dick hanging out I, my dick's always out <laughs> and I try to make it sound like Yacht Rock you know yeah. some steely yeah. Dan and I yeah. try to look pretty you no. do a very good job. No. And we don't even know what's going to happen when we're sitting in the studio with Denny, but well, it's right, going to be yeah, goddamn that's, that's cool. That's the next exciting You should happen. probably just watch. Uh, there's oh, old no. stock footage of Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and that's probably just what we're going to do. Is like <laughs> lay in a hammock, so. do some harmonizing with an acoustic guitar on the beach in the wintertime. And you're not going to do we're drugs. Just gonna, we're all going to sit there. Drink water. Drugs. We're going to drink water. water. Coconut water. Do you know how important yeah. water is? Coconut water. Do you know, do you know that Thank they just now, there's a study. I did not read this. 
but I did hear this secondhand on a podcast. But there are molecules in everyday tap water that are billions and billions of years old, older than our solar system, older than our Earth, older than our sun. In, in yeah. everyday tap Energy, water. Energy, bro. Hey, man, are, cheers to water, man. <laughs> There's some water in this Jameson. Cheers to water, That's your man. beer. That's your beer. Water, water made water this drinking. shit. Water made everything, man. <laughs> okay, I've got one more question for each of you. What's up? I'd love yeah. to hear. Individually? Yeah. yeah, individually, one by one. Yeah? Um, on the spot. Yeah, okay. That way. This okay. way? Yeah. yeah. Left to right? Yeah, your favorite thing. Oh, honestly, b- music. <clears throat> Seaweed salad. Other than that. <laughs> I saw what he said. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <clears throat> His cats. His cats. My, my favorite thing? Life. Oh. Uh, Jeff Picaro. <laughs> favorite food? Oh, shit. Oh, probably chicken or tuna. Eggs. Eggs. Definitely eggs. Seaweed salad. Come on. Do we just do this? You got the same answer for every question? You can do a pudding. A, a pudding? pudding. Yeah. Not at the moment. Uh, maybe, um, let's see, uh, garlicky kale from Whole Foods in Wellington, uh, mm, North Carolina. That makes your breast smell Very really good. close to the seafood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I stay on some seafood. It's a thing. Crab <laughs> cakes is my favorite food. Favorite food. Just go ahead and but say I, meat. But I don't, meat. I, don't, I can't Just do go ahead and say red meat. meat. Vegan crab cakes. <laughs> What's do your you favorite eat? food? Meat. <laughs> do you eat? Does do you eat? eat? Yeah. We we meat. Eat blood. Yeah. Blood. That's. I no. want to change my favorite thing. Yeah, I don't have a favorite food. Steak. Blood. Do your favorite food stay blood? Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's steak. Blood. You always say, man, I really want to go to um, steak. Blood. Right. Favorite food. Thai, like red curry. Probably. I could. I could live off of that. Well, I, I, I just, yeah, fresh cucumber. That's always. Yeah, good. my man. That's it. The freshest cucumber. God, I love the fresh. fresh cucumber. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> yeah. Put it on the tacos at Los Patales. Are you going to be coming back to the UK? Hopefully, because so. this is presumably like a um, we're we're doing, like, like we're we're over here yeah. now, so we can set up like stuff next year yeah. just yeah. to get the so these boys over here. here. They'll, they'll bring us yeah. back, right? Y'all bring us back. Yeah. This is a tangible yeah. thing. This is a tangible thing. This is a tangible thing. Whatever we, we all have in our saying. pockets are tangible things. Non-tang. We live. We live a life. <laughs> of gypsies where we are in a different place every day whether it be here or memphis or portland or our our home bar you know like it's you know we're we're, we try we travel a lot we are together a lot we know how we are going to stay sane and we stay sane and we stay close in peace and love we stay close and we stay safe stay close stay safe